What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to the third player of the month, Marco Royce SBC. I just want to let you guys know straight away, I'm not going to be and blah blah here. I'm not going to be completing the Marco Royce SBC today. Um, because I, I think if you already have either of his other two player of the month cards, and we're going to take a look at them in, in a little bit more detail, then I don't think it's value for money. If, however, you missed out on the first two player of the month cards, um, at that point, I, I, I would say it could be good value because it is actually an exceptional card. Uh, however, let's wait and see what the prices of these future stars are going to be a little bit later today so first and foremost guys the card itself is absolutely spectacular 91 pace 93 shooting 92 dribbling 90 passing and 75 physical four star four star he's 511 which is nice it is by all accounts an end game card okay he's got a little lack stamina which is a bit frustrating you'd, you'd probably even if you use him as a cam that stayed forward you'd probably still have to sub him off late games or specifically an extra time if you went to foot champs um, but outside of that the card is genuinely spectacular you know uh, sadly um, the price of this SBC cannot be reduced by the 90 or the 89 player of the month I think the whole community had a massive outcry when you couldn't use the 89 player of the month in a 90 player of the month or the 88 in a 90 player of the month however another thing that is got to be kind of brought to mind is whether or not Royce is going to get a big winter upgrade and if he does is this card going to get an upgrade so he has an 85 rated base card he then has an 86 an 87 an uh, in form an 88 and a 90 player a month and now the 91 player a month if his 85 gets upgraded to say an 87 which according to so fifa <clears throat> excuse me i'm just trying to get rid of this this cold that's just no it's just not leaving me guys it's just not leaving me let's go and have a look at marco royce in so fifa and see what his uh, rating is so he's actually been upgraded to an 88 rated card in so fifa which means his card in old in head to head is 88 rated if ea do what they did last year that means that it's very possible marco royce's 85 gold card will just bounce to an 88 which will push everything up by three so his 86 in form will go to an 89 his 87 in form will go to a 90 his 88 player of the month will go to a 91 pushing his 90 player of the month up to a 92 minimum maybe a 93 and this player of the month will go potentially up to a 93 maybe even a 94 which giving a, another two stats across the board will actually make this card for a million coins an extremely good value for money card uh in essence especially when you consider how much bail was and how good he is um you know this royce is right up there on top of the fact that a lot of people have now got a lot of icons because of the whole icon crafting uh, sort of, uh, you know, initiation through Team of the Year. And then on top of that, we have got, of course, the future stars now. And there are, first and foremost, there are a couple of great Bundesliga players, including uh, Hakimi and Sancho. So you could have a really good link of Hakimi, Sancho and Marco Royce. But there's also Havertz in the uh, future stars, and his card is really good too. So you could now start really putting together a really good Bundesliga squad with this card. What I would say though, like I said, if you have the 90 rated card, if you have the 90 rated Marco Royce, let's go and actually compare those two. If you do have the um, yeah the 90 rated Royce, it's, it's actually a small upgrade <clears throat> uh, comparatively. I don't think we can look at the in-game stats together, can we? So if we, uh, if we swap this Royce with the 91 Royce um, you can see there he has one pace and it, 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 it is literally just one pace like it is one acceleration and one sprint speed um, he has one shooting which again is literally one in positioning finishing shot power long shots volleys and penalties he has one dribbling which again is one across the board and one defending which is one across the board however his passing has been boosted by two which is really good because it makes him just a, a sensational passer of the ball without even putting a chem style in and then for me one of the biggest boosts here is the physical boost getting that extra two stamina and also three jumping on royce it's just really, I like the boost. It's not a massive boost. Like I say, if you have the 90 rated already, which I do on this account, I don't think this 91 is going to be worthwhile. And another reason as to why is, I know a lot of people kind of like get on my back, not get on my back, but you know, me, me and whatever, when I talk about what's to come in FIFA. 
And for a million coins for this 91 rated card, with what EA are giving us with, for example, the future stars, with the amount of Icon SBCs that are still due to be released, because we've still got loads of Icons to come, with how good players are in general in terms of, for example, flashbacks and such, you know, flashback Tevez and flashback Ibra, both sensational cards for way cheaper. I actually think, unless you really are gearing into a Bundesliga squad, and, and, and unless you kind of like banking on the fact that he might get upgraded to a 93 or 94 rated card i think that this would be a waste of coins i think you could do so much more with your 1 million coins that it will cost you on average to get this marco royce i don't think this royce is worth it if you're an account like me with the first owner road to glory potentially this could be you know you could argue that this would be a good card on top of that if you just love Marco Royce, if you love Dortmund, if you love the Bundesliga, if you're a German fan and you're just building into a German team, obviously this is the best option that you've got. It might be worth it. The one thing that saddens me a little bit as well is the packs that you get back for it. So EA kind of had a theme over the course of the year so far where the average price of the SBC, which obviously isn't set by EA, but I'm sure they know how much is going to come out at roughly, the average price of the SBC usually gives anywhere from 30 to 50% back in terms of packs. So if we look at icons, for example, and we look at, in fact, let's take uh, Beresi here, because you could get Beresi, I think right now he's about 500,000 coins. Um, Beresi is 540,000 coins, and for completing him, you actually get back a, an extreme amount of pack value so 55k pack uh 50k pack that's 105 a 45 that makes 150 uh another 25 that's 175 a rare electrums i think is like uh, 30k so that's like 205 um a gold players pack that's 220 and then a few uh, other little ones it basically get about 220 to 230s worth of packs for a 500 550k player so it's, you know in that 30 to 50 percent region if you then take for example luis figo uh, Luis Figo, according to Futbin, is 1.3 million right now. And on the return of that, you get a 100k pack, a 50k pack, a 50k pack, a 45, a 35, a 125, uh, a 30k, and then a couple of little packs. But once again, you're up near like the 400,000 coin mark. In fact, it's 100, 150, 200, 325, 360, 400. Yeah, about 450 coins, which again is in that 30 to 50 percent range of value versus packs back now of course in what you get in terms of the actual contents of the pack is largely luck right but in terms of the actual pack value ea usually put it in that barrier of 30 to 50 percent with gareth bale it was down at about 14 percent and so that's why i was so upset with the gareth bale sbc because i thought to myself this bale sbc is is somewhat of a rip-off because yes it's a good card but it's very expensive, doesn't link to anyone other than, you know, essentially La Liga or Icons. And it's it, it gives a really poor return back in packs. And for Marco Royce, for a million coin uh, SBC, even though there's only four uh, objectives here, the first objective, you need an 85 rated squad with two in forms and uh, same league eight. So you're going to have to build into two leagues. And this only offers a 35k pack. Now, according to Futbin which obviously we can fluctuate. I, I, I always believe that you can get what Futbin says for anywhere from 5 to 15% cheaper if you're clever with how you bid, with how you, you know, if you just use it as a, a way to look or whatever. Um, I, I think you can get it a bit cheaper. So Futbin coming in at about a million coins right now, you could probably get this for about 900,000 coins. So if we were looking for 30 to 50%, you'd be looking at anywhere from 300 to 450,000 coins worth of packs back. Well, the, the first one gives a mega pack. The second one gives a Bundesliga Prime Players Pack, which honestly is not great. It's just not. Uh, and then it gives two 50k packs. So you're only going to get uh, 100, about 200,000 coins worth of packs back, depending on what you value the Bundesliga Prime Players Pack at. I know EA value it at 55,000 coins because it's a league-specific pack. I personally would still value it at 45,000 coins because the Bundesliga is just terrible in terms of uh, players to pack. Um, so you're looking at about 180 to 200,000 coins worth of packs. That's down at like 20 to 23% return on coins invested versus packs returned plus the Marco Royce. And I just think that's a little bit too low for me personally. So... Yeah, I think the requirements, they're quite steep, you know. So you do need an 85 rated squad with uh, two informs. 
You then need an 84-rated squad, but with three informs, a Freiburg, a Werder Bremen, and a Borussia Mönchengladbach player. So you're basically going to have to build into like a full uh, Bundesliga team here, even though you only need 75% chemistry. You then need an 86-rated squad with two more informs and a Dortmund player. And then last but not least, you need an 87-rated squad with two informs, a Dortmund player, a Bundesliga player, and a German player. Now, of course, you could counteract all of that with putting Marco Royce in there, even his 85 rated card. You only need 65 chemistry on this one. So for those of you that did do a lot of the uh, icon crafting and, and have got leftover players, let's have a look at what untradeables I've got that are left over. With, with the low chemistry that, you know, that is required, um, I've got Godin in my club, so we could use him in an 87 rated squad. I've got Tony Kroos, we could use him. That already would make a, a massive reduction on the value. I could even use like this Mario Goetze card. I don't use him. I, I like to keep these flashback cards though for video purposes, so I wouldn't particularly use him. I've got a few more La Liga players. I could actually probably build quite close to the full team here. Uh, with, do you know what? I might end up just doing this. Um, we've got a couple of untradeable informs there with Lala and Arnautovic. I've actually got a really, really, really high amount of La Liga players here. Do you know what? I might, I might, if I did this Marco Royce though, I'd want to, I would, I would want to save the packs for, um, I would want to save the packs for when the future stars are in packs. Now we only need an 87 rated squad here and with two 90s in there, two 87s, we're actually in a good spot. We only need 65 chemistry as well. If we put Saul in there and Iago Aspas down there. That's our chemistry and a huge rating. If I, if I, I might, I, I might, I might do it, guys. I might do it just, just because the whole point of the icon crafting was to ha to have the players to do SBCs for cheap and to get the icons specifically for cheap. Um, but uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I came into this. I already have the 90 Royce on this account, so I personally don't think that it's a smart use of players or coins. I'd rather save these players for the SBCs that are going to come. Um, Arthur could go in there. I, I think we would actually be able to do this first set. I don't know if I'd be able to get away with an 82 rated in form, but putting in 84 Arthur would take me to an 85 rated squad. So we would just need a Dortmund German. We, I, I would basically need Marco Royce to, to go in here and, and then swap out someone for an inform. So yeah, I'm, I'm actually not going to do it. Um, but what, as I said at the start of the video, I just wanted to talk through this SBC with you, kind of explain why it's uh, not very good value for money. You know, even for this player of the month SBC, this specific one segment is coming in at 300,000 coins on Futbin for a 50k pack. 250k for Borussia Dortmund with a 50k pack. 150k for the Sharpshooter for a Bundesliga Prime Player pack. And then 250k for the Marco Royce section here uh, for a mega pack. For me personally, unless you are extremely flush with coins and you really want this Royce because you missed out on the other two player of the months, I don't think it's worth it. The other thing to consider is how good he's playing. Is he likely to get more player of the month cards? Another inform, his winter upgrade, team of the season. I know it's like all down the line and I understand the, the argument and the idea behind you've got to have fun with the game now. But I think personally with what's in the game now and especially what's coming into the game in a couple of hours when the future stars is released, I think your million coins would be much better like valued on those items than on this item personally. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on this one. Like I said, though, it would be amazing to link him up with Hakimi Future Star, Sancho Future Star and Havertz. That might be like and then Futmas Boateng or, you know, whatever the Jonathan Tarr uh, card that we've got. There's a lot of good opportunities and a good options there. But uh, this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.